North Korean missile debris found throughout Ukraine, Pentagon report. Russia widely uses North Korean missiles to bombard Ukraine. They hit not only frontline cities. Reuters writes about this with reference to a declassified Pentagon report. The report outlines various aspects of North Korea's short-range solid-fuel ballistic missiles, comparing images of the wreckage to images of the missiles shown by North Korean state media. The analysis confirms that Russia used North Korean-made ballistic missiles in its war against Ukraine. North Korean missile debris was found throughout Ukraine, the Pentagon said in a statement. Missiles from North Korea are said to account for a small proportion of Russia's strikes on Ukraine, but their use has raised alarm bells in both South Korea and the United States as it could mean the end of nearly 20 years of UN Security Council consensus on blocking missile programs of North Korea. It is noted that by its actions, Russia, which is a permanent member of the Security Council, not only provided Pyongyang with the opportunity to test missiles in combat, but also took steps that will complicate monitoring of compliance with the UN sanctions imposed on the North Korea in 2006. As reported earlier, Moscow and Pyongyang are planning an October surprise that will help Trump. According to NBC News, the October plan is aimed at helping Donald Trump return to the White House, with whom Putin wants to negotiate an end to the war in Ukraine on his own terms. It is also reported that Russia sent experts to the North Korea to help launch spy satellites. The North Korea may time the launch to coincide with one of the major diplomatic events with the participation of South Korea. Drones have been spotted over the territory of Russia's Republic of Tatarstan. An air raid warning has been issued, the airspace over the Republic's capital Kazan has been closed and the evacuation of employees of several businesses in the city is ongoing. Distance from Ukraine, 1,200 kilometers, Russian media write that explosions were heard in the area of the Kazanorgsense plant. All workers were evacuated. Meanwhile, a siren sounds in Kazan. The planes that flew to the city had to be turned around. The Russian Federal Air Transport Agency reported that temporary restrictions on the arrival and takeoff of aircraft have been introduced at the airports of Kazan and Nizhnekamsk. Propagandists did not specify the reason for this, however, Russian telegram channels are publishing photos and videos of drones in the sky over Tatarstan. The telegram channels do not specify where exactly the drones were seen. But Russia manufactures Shahid Kamikaze drones in Tatarstan. Russia's Alabuga Special Economic Zone in Tatarstan is located more than 200 kilometers east of Kazan, near the cities of Yelabuga and Nizhnekamsk. In the summer of 2023, it was reported that several hundred students at Alabuga Polytechnic College in Tatarstan were involved in the assembly of Iranian Shahid drones. The White House released a satellite image in June 2023 that showed the construction of a plant in the Russian Republic of Tatarstan to produce Iranian kamikaze drones which Russia is using to destroy civilian infrastructure facilities in Ukraine. Не сильно, но будет. Мне это бесит, башка раскалывается. Беспилотник летит в сторону Руксин. Сейчас был один бабах, второй летит. Смотрите. Охуеть. Смотри, уже летит. Смотрите, что я не знаю, что будет. Пиздец. Вот с той стороны получается. Летел. О, летит. Смотрите, что. Древний Воронье.
На Казань идет. Где наши пывоты? Казань. Пошел.